multiple filters in a view. Hey Derek, welcome to the community, brother. Hello, I'm trying to create a filtered view like a Google spreadsheet. I have read other posts, but none of them are like what I'm trying to do. So, the context. This app was made to manage farmers, and each farm has a different certifications and combinations. Some are rainforest, some are fair trade USA, some are Mars, others are organic, and so on. Some have combinations between those certifications. I'm trying to make a filtered view where I can choose multiple certifications easily because this app is made for not tech, sec not tech savvy users. I came up with a temporary fix, which is group by status, organic or not, sort by certifications, and searching for other certifications. But there is a group of farmers who have all kinds of certifications and it's getting annoying to the users. So I want to make a filter like those in Google Sheets or Excel so they can filter easily between certifications. Can someone help me with this with what I'm trying to do? Thanks beforehand. Well, Derek, uh, to keep things easy, the simple answer, I'll, I'll start there at the simple one. Um, if you turn on the preview program for your app, um, the, the search feature, like the native search bar for your app sheet app, um, with, when you turn the preview thing on for your app, the, there's a filter function that's currently in preview mode that will allow people to like do all kinds of highly advanced sorting and filtering and things. I don't know if sorting is part of it, but filtering, um, it's like an advanced search, uh, and it's kind of along the lines of what you're looking to create with this. It's, it might be a simple way to allow people to do this. Um, so that's the easy way. It makes use of the preview program. The downside, downside to that is, uh, there's no granularity with the preview program. You either turn it on or off. So, uh, when you turn that on, you have all the other stuff that's on as well. So I'm not sure if you'd want those to be a part of, or maybe you might be excited about them. Don't know. Now, the other side of this is you'd have to create a dashboard, uh, what I call an enhanced dashboard. Um, that means that you'd have to have one part of the, one part of the screen. Let me just show you. Basically, it's a, an, uh, it's a dashboard that combines a detail view with fields that are set to quick edits uh, and then a slice that's looking at whatever these fields are for its criteria. So, for instance, this is a, uh, a field scouting um, app and so you can see it's showing everything, but I could say, you know, only show me the one tester client. And so, okay, that's everybody there. Um, but then I want to say, you know, I only want a specific field. I just want to see this one field. Okay, that's these guys over here. So then I can zoom in and I can like drill down to, to whatever. Um, I could filter by, you know, crop types. And of course, these all filter based on um, the, the selections that are, that are made. Um, but anyways, yeah, so you can see what's going on here. And then I have like, so you can switch between map and detail view. Uh, whichever one you know if this is a if you want to be able to like look at specific details or like run through other sorts of functionalities that we have anyway so this is what um this is the result of a whole whole bunch of work um there's you know there's other ways you can do dashboards as well but uh yeah the quick and easy way for the filtering thing that you're looking for might just be the preview program let me know if it helps Hey, I just wanted to say thanks for watching the video. Make sure you give it a like and a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. It really helps the channel with all the algorithm stuff that's going on I'm trying to build. Also, if you really want to show your love, you can head on over to patreon.com slash multitech. There's some goodies over there. It's 10 bucks a month. I got a lot of good stuff going on over there. Check it out. Otherwise, I'll see you in the community.